Good evening, everyone. Hi, hi. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> hi. Good evening, hey, evening, guys, evening. Hi, hi. I want hi. to check everyone's connection right now. Are you guys, can you guys hear me? Are you connected well? Are you raining or are you okay? Yes, all good. <laughs> Hi, Ausmaba too. Hi, how are you? I am good. How are you? Excellent, thanks. Mr. Kia, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Adi. I am good. How was the how's the week? <laughs> it's been quite hectic. Been yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been very, very hectic. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad for it. Like how pushy you are, how very good. <laughs> yeah, yes, <it's>, yeah. <laughs> Mr. No, B. It's... Hi, hi. How are you today? I'm very well, ma'am. Thank you for asking. I'm good. And your network is okay, ne? Ah, it's super. Now, if we where is Yvonne? Is she networking? Ah, Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs> Even it's raining. Is on raining. Uh, you know, and uh, the network is rain. It's raining and she's using rain. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> problems. They don't. They don't. <laughs> okay. So I guess yeah. we can start, right, Mr. B? Absolutely. It looks like everyone is good to go. We can take it away. Wow. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for today because today I am meeting uh, the famous people uh, behind <laughs> this, you know, uh, the famous Mr. B, the famous Aus Mabatu, you know, the right. Famous, the wow. <laughs> <laughs> the famous Aye. people that you must know here. More, more RFF, the famous ones are here today. And I am so excited to talk to you guys, to get to know more about you as, as our facilitators for the event. But before we, we do that, um, for the, this year, ne? why am I, guys, I'm not well. I'm not well. I'm trying this energy thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You're doing well. You're doing well. Don't worry. It's good. I am sick. So I told Mr. B, I'll listen, I will, I'll try to not be sick, but yeah, dear Gula, dear Gula, but yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. So guys, 
the planning is underway and is on track for the next installment of the Rustenberg Film Festival. And I know, for those of you who don't know, right, the Rustenberg Film Festival is Rustenberg's signature annual film event that we see many filmmakers, film stakeholders, from TV broadcasters, producers, distributors, and many, they all come together in one roof and online, like us now, for a jam-packed four days. And the mandate of the festival is simple, develop, connect, and promote. And this year, we have a massive screening program. We have 55 films. 55. Can you believe that? Huh? 55 films and six from 16 countries. We're talking documentaries, feature films, short films. Honor. And the spotlight of this year, guys, TV movies. <laughs> Mr. Gia. <laughs> Can you tell us more about the VSVs? Yes. Uh, this year we came up with a concept because we realized that uh, based on the uh, last year's survey that was conducted, we realized that uh, uh, there were a lot of people who joined us online. And uh, uh, we then sort of thought Corey, we know we need to actually make the presence yeah, the fest, yeah, 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 the festival in the uh, most of the rural areas of the province. So um, we then came up with quite the concept called virtual satellite venues. Now with this virtual satellite venues, we are sort of creating an opportunity for those uh, filmmakers uh, who are right in the outskirts in the most of the rural of the province to join us. So uh, we have identified few venues across the province where the festival is going to be broadcast and uh, people will have to like, will go there and attend uh, the festival. So this helps as uh, those uh, people who actually don't even have data to use on their cell phones to join us live from their cell phones. So uh, these this, uh, venues we will have data, they, they, they will connect through Wi-Fi and it, they will be live and anybody who will be having a question while attending a workshop, that question will be answered uh, immediately. So they won't be left behind, they'll be uh, going with the festival as, as, as it goes. So we, we are really excited about this. And uh, uh, we are hoping for it. this virtual satellite venues next year will actually get to increase throughout the province and also roll out to other provinces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that is that is honestly amazing. I just realized now her now was screaming. And she <laughs> 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 After you spoke, I'm like <laughs> now I was screaming. What was the need? You can still hear me most. But I'm like Rustin Bad <laughs> Film Festival. It's like it's <laughs> coming. Yeah, I know. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm like, why is he so calm? I thought. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me come back and be calm. <laughs> What's nice about all this is that, guys, registrations are currently open. You know, for everyone who wants to attend, whether you want to attend in person or online, you know, you just go to RustenbergFilm.co.za. Uh, fill the application form and submit, you know. But the registration are closing on the 15th of October. So you have to do it now. 15 October 2021, because someone is like, okay, maybe next year. Ne? No, <laughs> 15 October 2021, which is coming in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. So please come. Jose de Fela, we are already 73% full. So, guys, please. 
Then I'm the registration thing at home. Okay. Ha, oh, Mr. B. I'm yes, ma'am. And I'm trying to be calm. So with you and oh, yeah. I was mama too. I'm trying this. You know when you're sick and you speak soft, like and that yeah, I'll end up sleeping. <laughs> There's <laughs> no credit card. There's no hey, what is that other one? It's free. I think so I think I Mama must, can speak. I must just get this energy from somewhere. You see, so, <laughs> so I'm a scream. So forgive me for screaming. Um, so I was Mama too because Mr. B is like ladies first. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask you this question and then Mr. B, you have to answer after. Okay. Um, okay. Please introduce yourself, I'll, I'll see, so that we can know you, so that everyone can know who who you are, or to die, you know. Okay, cool. Thank you. First of all, I'll thank you for you inviting me. This industry, yeah. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. I'm I'm very excited to be part of the film festival. Yeah, I I mean I I I'm a little bit of an all-rounder in the industry. I started off as a content producer working on shows like Boutique Faefe, Big Brother. In the old days, I'm an oldie. Um, and I worked my way up and eventually became a commissioning editor at the SABC where I really enjoyed the idea of the broadcasting side of things and the business side of uh, content creation. But what that also birthed in me was this love for helping writers or producers or creatives come up with their story. I eventually realized that I have this uh, passion and ability to help people see the blind spots in their stories, right? And um, I'll fast forward to where I am now and what I'm doing. And I'm mostly a story consultant, something that most people don't necessarily I don't know, I suppose know much about in the industry. But what that is, is that I love to work with writers to help them come up with their stories. And I also mentor on various labs uh, in South Africa and around the world where I help writers birth their stories or unlock whatever problems or blocks they may have in their story. And I also work as a producer um, when I am you know, when things are aligned. But mostly, yeah, that's what I do. I'm a I'm a story midwife, I guess. I help birth stories. Yeah. Wow. I, I wish I met you earlier. I, I was I was chased out of the writing class at school. Yo, why now? Hurry. Uh I, I was told I'll never be a writer again. Mr. V's face is just laughing and <laughs> 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 He's laughing at me before I can even finish talking. Uh, I was a, I went to a drama school, right? Okay. That's a good thing. It, it is. And one of the teachers there, because they said we must come up with nice stories that we can perform on stage, right? Yeah. I think I forgot stage. Because it's <laughs> like stage and because as a writer i was trying to be creative and in vendor growing up i was told <laughs> i know a story of some guy who who raped a goat yeah, <laughs> and that goat gave birth to a child that had oh, no. <laughs> yeah i think i may be on your teacher's side for a little bit uh? <laughs> I think I may be on your teacher's side for just a little bit. So I was, the story was great when I was writing it. So when the teacher was like, okay, so see, see, this fiction sort of story of yours, where are we going to perform it? Who's going to come up with the head of a human being and a goat on stage? You know, so <laughs> it's like, can I give you an advice? And I was like, yeah, because I was excited. I was young. And he was like, don't ever write again. <laughs> So I think ah. I needed a a a a a a, um, a midwife writer <laughs> like ah. who was going to unlock what I was about to give birth to. So I stopped writing, and I think I must just come back because I have a lot of crazy stories that I would like yeah. to. Come hey, up maybe you never know. You 
always or you can always come back you know what i mean with the heat now it's a cow <laughs> <laughs> mr b the same question <laughs> what was the question the question is for uh, for you to tell us about yourself we don't know you. oh so it's basically it's my it's my time to shine is that what you say it's your time to shine <laughs> Well, I, I'm a, a film director, producer, series creator, and uh, this woman who just spoke, hey, yeah, I, 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 uh, I as what do you call it? I aspire to work with her one day. <laughs> Maybe I can, I can have better films. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm a film director, producer, writer. I have released a feature film in the cinemas. Um, quite some time ago, 2016, they're about called Safe Bet. And uh, my very first film apparently was starring this wonderful actress, Millicent, uh, who, who believed in my, my noviceness, my newness. And she acted in my first film, which was done in 2011 from Zansi Magic Channel, when they were starting out. Um, and then from there, Three years ago, I did a television series in Botswana called Colors, which uh, played on Botswana television. And then it also played in South Africa uh, television as well, DSTV channel Moja Love. And then uh, now I have a, an interesting motoring show, which is also playing on DSTV 189. Um, it's called Test Drive Tuesdays, which is basically a show where we take a celebrity we we put them in a car they test drive I, i'm gonna see if i can find a trailer to that one then maybe i can play it for you uh, so that you can see because it's the one that is currently playing so yeah in in simple that's what i do i i love storytelling i've been involved with rustenberg film festival for some time now and each time i go there i i, I really don't get to enjoy like a person who is who is a guest i always find myself working there you know um, then I have to do workshops and then I have to do A, B, C, D, but I, I, I love what I do. So in a nutshell, that's me. You are a very hard worker. Um, I know you. I know. Mr. Have I been, while we're talking about that, cause I'm trying to just say nice things about you because I don't, I'm not sure if I was paid for the first festival that we, we did together. Was I ever paid? Maybe it's because. I'm trying to say nice things so that you when see you when, you, when you say such things, this is what we do because I'm controlling. I just do this and then I'm going to go and then I do it. You. <laughs> Try to that means a nice no. questions. A no, I was not paid, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I understand. I did the same thing. Auski, yeah, here. Where's she? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, ah. Why am I? Every time I try to point, it goes the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, What's happening here, Mr. B? <laughs> okay. Auskia here was a commissioning editor. Tololo job at the SABC. You see, so the two of you are the same. Oh, okay. You to me, Latana. Latana, you you have my heart. You see, I will follow you forever. I'm joking, guys. So please tell me, I am joking. Please tell me, um, Ausmabatu, for the past five years, mm -hmm. what have you been busy with? I know, I don't even want to mention 2020, 2021. Yeah, because 2021 of, happened. Yeah, 2020 pandemic happened, but for the last five years what have you been uh, doing um my main focus like i said was to see if i can't expand my skill set and kind of uh, challenge myself a bit more outside south africa in terms of story writing and uh, how to approach the whole writing process so i found myself working or rather consulting in labs outside uh, my home territory here so i've worked in labs in Uganda, uh, the Maisha lab. Uh, I've been to the Torino script lab in Italy. And then, oh, what else? Um, five years, that's a long time. And I've been consulting on a couple of films here at home 
helping them write their stories and uh, also developing a drama series, which um, is yet to be shot. Yeah, so that's mostly what I've been doing. And um, what else? Uh, going to a couple of film festivals. Oh, 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 I suppose my highlight was working in the Philippines. I found that very interesting because they're a new territory, a new culture, very nice people, very excited. And they, uh, they do some very interesting things. Like they've got this thing where in movies, the same actors act in, this, in different movies. So like they've got couples that will be in the same movies over and over. So I found that very interesting, uh, random share there. But yeah, that's been my highlight really, just kind of trying to expand my wings beyond home so that I can bring back some of that back home, yeah. Yeah, no, that mm. is amazing. It's truly inspiring. And some of us would love to honestly travel and go to the Philippines and, and see. <laughs> um, sometimes you, um, because we are home and I had a travel, you tend to think, mm. right, this is it, this is at home, this is it. Uh, mm. The writing, the acting, the performance. Exactly. Uh, you go out and you see other people, you start to think, or maybe we should adapt things like this um, in, in, in our um, film industry. TV. But what's interesting, not, not, not to interrupt, but like what I actually found, what's interesting is that we are so similar around the world. We're different, of course, culturally and uh, like in terms of traditions and ways of being. But in terms of the human condition, people are so similar, you know? So I, I find that as a really interesting tool because in South Africa, we're special, you know? Like, um, like a, a lot of times, but, but no, an African mother, or so, 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 so. I find the same thing. A Filipino, a Filipino mother is like this. A Ghanaian, my Ghanaian mother is like this. And I find this is exactly the same person. Mm. All over. Yeah. So it's, it's an interesting thing. It is. It is interesting. It's, it's very good that you are traveling and you are getting all these experiences so that you can share to us and give to us um, going forward. Because as you can see, Jorge, our industry is growing each and every day. Yeah, some nice, and exciting do knowledge. Yeah. Uh, Mr. B. Yes. Um, um, okay. So, so I I think I I spoke a lot about what I've done in the past five years, but um, I'm just gonna put the trailer that I promised because I happen to have found it somewhere. It's only forty five seconds. Mm -hmm. um, so do enjoy it. I hope it's gonna come out with sound there. The best award is the people saying to. Find me here. <laughs> you can find me here. <laughs> we were just trying to make it interesting for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Amazing. that's it. <laughs> Amazing directing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think um I think besides besides that, basically it's it's the other stuff that I mentioned, um, uh, colors, the TV series and the movie, and also I haven't been to the Philippines like other people, but I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I've been around. You and I went to Cannes together, didn't we? Though I saw you. I think we went to Cannes together, didn't we? Oh, yeah, 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 and that one too, who is there? Who is there? Is, is, is he freezing? Oh, he is fine. <laughs> Mr. Malau. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think I think that's that's just that, um, really. Wow. We love this industry. We love storytelling. Oh, just time. Yeah. And then you've always said no matter how difficult, how hard this industry is, listen, you just yeah, biggest. Yeah, biggest. 
and continue and come up with new things even when it is hard because this, yeah. this industry can be yeah let me not say anything <laughs> <I'll smart. laughs> what is your involvement with um the uh, Rustin Black Film Festival and have you attended the um, the festival before or this will be your first time? I'm excited because it's my first time. Uh, but what I'll be doing is I've been asked to hold uh, a masterclass, a workshop, a session, a discussion uh, on screenwriting, uh, 101 principles of screenwriting. And I, I hope to... Uh, guide or engage or create with the people that are going to come uh, join the session on how to write a screenplay because it is a very different monster you know there's theater there is tv there's even podcasts now there's movies so all those different things we approach differently when we write those stories there's books there's poetry all those things one approaches differently. So what I'll be focusing on is essentially the principles that inform writing for whether it be a short TV film, but essentially a closed feature film concept. So I won't necessarily get into series writing because that's a whole different beast, but I will hopefully discuss and inspire people to understand what it takes to write uh, a feature film or a feature length uh, film. Because it's a very, very specific skill. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, because I am not a right. Remember, I was chased out of the class. <laughs> I, I thought, <laughs> I thought it's easy. Just take a pen and write your thoughts. And, and that's it. The rest is history. I didn't know it was that hectic. And I'm definitely, definitely going to be in the writing class so that I can put it in my bucket list that I have attended. Writing class. <laughs> then you must do your first script and send it to that lady and say, look here. Uh, it's a guy. It's a guy. What is his name? Oh, okay. His name is Monde. Okay. My teacher was Monde. I forgot his name, but he was Monde. I will definitely send it to him. I'll find him and send him. <laughs> Mr. B. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh yes. Um, no, I, 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 I suffer from ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yes. I so I uh, know I, I look, I have been involved with the Rustenberg Film Festival for quite some time. And of course, this year I will be um, doing it again. And I am very glad because even in the past few years of my involvement and these workshops, I always take the directing workshop because that is what I'm most comfortable with. And that is what I know best. And that is where I feel I can really, really, you know, make a big difference. Um, so I, I, I am going to be involved with that. I'm going to be handling the directing side of things. Um, Asma Bato, as she has already said, she's going to be focusing on, on the writing part so she she's gonna go through writing part with them and then afterwards i come in and we go through directing and i'm going to stay much much longer way after uh Ausma Wato has left which is a, apparently this is what all directors are people go and sit and even actors and actresses and everybody they they are there and then it's a wrap they go home and they enjoy themselves and guess who remains the director remains mm. Now has to go and direct the post production, but I'm going to talk about, you know, a brief of um, of what I'm going to cover in 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 the directing part of it. Hopefully, if you do ask me, by the way, I always volunteer my services when they're not required. I don't know why I do that, but yeah. Mister B, I wanted to ask on that. Name. Do does a person have to have like an eye for directing, or anyone can be a director? You know what, um, look, training is very important. Training is extremely, extremely important, but indeed an eye for, for it, you have to have it in you. Um, you have to be very visual. I think, I think uh, for a good director, for one to be a really good director, there must be 
they must be very visual they must think in pictures they must see they must see the complete picture and they must be able to to visualize all these different parts of the story and how they come together to give you a complete picture so yes visual it's one out of maybe 15 to 20 to 30 things that you need mm -hmm. yeah okay. I and it's funny that. enough it connects the seeds of it lie in what we'll be doing because if you don't write visually the director can't imagine it yes um, so it all links together Absolutely. because i was about to ask that question then do you have to have <laughs> the writing skill or you just wake up and be like mm -mm, i want to write let me write i think yeah it makes sense yeah a, that's an interesting question because i think it's it, I, well no I, I can't say this i was about to say i guess with enough training people can learn something and then i realized doctors we don't treat doctors the same way you have to actually know what you're doing you can't just say no anybody can come through give them enough training and then they can be a doctor i think with writing it's a similar thing that it's actually a very um it's a, one has to have the talent you can learn it you can practice it you can read the books you can understand it but there's something really magical about somebody who who has it in them to be a writer as well so i suppose it's a bit of both really mm -hmm. i think it's yeah. also almost the same with music or acting because no matter how many times you can train to become a a singer if you can't sing you can't sing no you can't well you unless can't. unless you find your own voice you know i think of people like macy gray I can't imagine Macy Gray next to you know. Is she the one? Macy yeah, Gray. I know. So I don't know. I don't know. But I think I suppose it is about respecting the craft. Yeah. 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 So tell me, Absolutely. a lot of people do you see a lot of females uh becoming writers? Or they shy away from that and become and take other positions in the in the oh, no, there, yeah there are many amazing female writers in the industry i'm um, so enjoying uh, their state and i know that people like bongindava and chisanga kabinga were involved in that really prolific female writers mawatu monsu is doing some amazing work internationally she's a writer director karaboli uh, diha writer director yeah so women are really doing some amazing things in the writing field yeah mm. and and how do you think festivals how important are festivals in general oh very what i love about festivals is that they literally are a dedicated time and space where we're like okay we're going to focus on this craft called filmmaking so people are there to connect to experiment to play to discuss and to inspire each other and more importantly, people are there to watch films, you know, so that they can go beyond just their own laptops or their own edit suites or their own film sets. You get to see what people are doing outside your world, you know. Um, now I'm going to start shouting because it started raining. I hope you can still hear me. We can hear you. Yeah, we do. Okay. We do hear you. We, we also hear you. Hello, we also hear we also hear the thunder. It's, it's, oh, it's making up a nice sound effect, you know. It's like it makes everything dramatic, you know. As long as I don't disappear off the screen and it's darkness. <laughs> oh man, let's hope not. We hope not. <laughs> Mr. B, what do you think of um, festivals in general? Oh, yeah, don't I? I'm I'm an enthusiast. Someone once gave me a nickname. They said I'm a professional festival attender <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that but, but yeah I indeed I, mean, I, I am a professional auditioner <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, I mean, my, my daughter my daughter once asked me mama what do you do for a living and I said I, I audition for a living I am an auditioner <laughs> so I understand you are you you attend 
<laughs> festival, you are a festivalier. <laughs> you are I'm <laughs> festivalier. Diligent festivalier. Look, really, film festivals are very, very important. And I think anyone who is really taking their craft seriously as a filmmaker for sure needs to attend film festivals. I mean, I don't uh, see anybody who loves jazz that much not attending the jazz festival. Um, you know, you, you have to be there to, to experience a lot of things. But more importantly, with film festivals, it's networking. Networking is key in our industry. We all know that. So if you don't network, if you don't meet people, if you don't watch as many films that that other filmmakers produce and, and listen to them and how they, you know, their process of, of making this film, then you're not really going to grow in your craft and also you're not really going to expand your network, you know? So I have been attending festivals since, since I, I decided to get into the industry. I was never in the industry, by the way. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I came into the filming industry in 2007 and the first three years, I never made anything. I just attended festivals, workshops, festivals, workshops, workshops, festivals, festivals, workshops. And I learned so much to that extent that by the time I made my first film, I made my first film through a producer that I met at a festival, a commissioning editor that I met at a festival, and then I made my first film. This man who is with us here, uh, he invited me to his festival. By then it was called Wujanala Film Festival. And I went there to, to do a workshop and all, and I went with a delegation from the NFVF because they were they sent me there to do the workshop. And then I met somebody there from Stekineko and, and we connected with the people from Stekineko and two, three, four, five years later, I managed to... To, to release my, my film theatrically because of those connections. Because with our industry, it's, it's, it's possible, yes, but if you don't have those connections, it's only gonna be much, much harder and you're going to be frustrated because it's a community, you know? And now with all these international film festivals that we have been to, you know, France, LA, America, Canada, all over to even Berlin where I first experienced the snow. I never saw snow in my life. I never felt minus seven degrees. It was when I went for a film festival because I love festivals. And then my face was baptized by minus seven degrees. Uh, degrees yeah, that was so cold. But <laughs> the whole experience was just amazing, you know? And you learn so much, you get to experience different cultures, you grow in your craft. So I, I, I can speak all night about festivals. We, we should actually have a different stream that just talks about festivals and how we can navigate ourselves and go around a film festival effectively. I'll Mr. stop there. Yeah, no, uh, just, just to add in there, uh, you know, you get like uh, those Is he frozen? He freeze? <laughs> He's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, internet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bay, are you raining there? You are the one who's raining. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who's yeah, raining. It's so easy to tell. If if only one person freezes and the other three remain active, then yeah, it's you, Chief. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Basically, I was saying uh, the point. Or just adding on the point that you just raised now, that we should maybe at some point have a stream about festivals. Uh, you know, you, you you go to festivals like uh, Cannes, you know, or even uh, Toronto where you get uh, a festival program in a, in, a, in a form of a book. You know, that thing will take you a week to navigate through and get to get the, the hem of it, you know? And sometimes you can go to some of these festivals and you'll still come back without even having to book uh, any appointment. 
So yeah, I think maybe at some point we, we, we need to look at, at that. And yeah, I was about to, you know, okay, when you, you are doing a very delicate job. You know, uh, I think your workshop is going to be one of the workshops that uh, I'm, I'm going to attend. It's going to be very, very interesting because with, with writing, you, you learn new things every day. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, so you, you can never say, yeah, no, I can go to, I know it all when it comes mm -hmm. to writing. Because, uh, so, you know, I would sometimes get into YouTube and like, you know, try and see, you know, there are so many methods, so many systems of writing. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, and... Uh, it's like what you just said that people will just grow into it and you know the more you write the better you get at it and believe you me i've seen uh some people are you know like actually one of the things that actually even ins uh, inspired this festival was uh, a good number of people would come and say you know we've got a script you want to produce it you want it on TV. And when you look at that script, mm. you can see oh, uh, this person, there's still a long way to go. Mm. And uh, I've been approached by so many, so many people. <laughs> and uh, it's just a bit like most people think uh, platforms like or oh, oh, YouTube, you know, they are only there for social media. And there's quite a lot that they can learn there in terms of script writing. Mm. The other day I was uh, uh, watching this uh, clip, it's on, it's on YouTube, uh, from Denzel Washington. I think the name of the movie is Fences. Oh, hey. You know? And as he was saying his lines, they played those particular lines, actually, as we are performing them, they played them at the same time, you know? And <laughs> it was so amazing. He he was basically saying everything as it is. And yo, I was like, yeah, no, I want to do my performance, them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, no, yeah, no, you're right. Know, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a skill, it's a craft. And like you say, information is out there. A lot of information, but it's about knowing what works for you, your context, your skill level, your vision for yourself. And I like what you say, for a, especially the writing. Writing, in truth, is rewriting. So you have to keep writing. You have to keep rewriting and writing and writing. That first draft is terrible. The second draft might even be better. Kunali, some people like, Bo, we all know these directors, Taco America, Bo Martin Scorsese. I think Martin Scorsese took about, if, okay, people mustn't take my word for it, but what's that about 10 years for Kuala Gangs of New York? Yeah. Hey. Hey, yeah. yeah. That was quite yeah, some time, man. Man. And then right there, then you begin to ask yourself, for, okay, fine, he wrote it. And then, uh, script consultants that also came to play. Yeah, Absolutely. Was writing the story. They might, you must have also done a lot of consultation there, you know, because uh, I think one other thing that actually get to sort of kill most of our writers is that uh, because I'm a writer, whatever I write, it's good. Mm. You know, people it's have the points, uh, <laughs> seek for second opinions or not. <laughs> They are writing, you know. So and 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 it is important. I think maybe these are some of the things that uh, during your workshop you sort of touch on, you know, to say to to, to 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 writers to say, look, yes, it's it's your story. It's close to your heart, and you are bound to tell us it's good, and we believe you. But let somebody else look at it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Because it might be terrible. <laughs> Somebody yeah, I know. So the, <laughs> other, other opinions are also important. <laughs> they are. They are very Me. important. <laughs> you know what? I've always wanted to ask this, but I don't know how to put it. 
Um, as a writer, you write a story, right? Uh, for example, this this series that I repeat every day of my life. It's called Modern Family. I don't know if you. you oh, know it's great. About. Uh, I repeat Modern Family every single day, and it feels like I'm watching uh, it. I'm, you know, when you watch the same episode today, and then you watch the same episode in three months, but it feels like you're watching. It's different from, you know, and also making every making you believe or this is a family mm. uh, i'll make an example about the two gay guys mm. i only recently found out that the the, the, the fat one is not gay yes indeed. and it didn't make sense in my mind because the way they wrote for him and how he performed it was real there's a lot of um for example I've watched some uh, um, a series called Shameless. I don't know if you know it. Yes, yes. From the beginning of Shameless until the end, I didn't feel like there was performance. Like it felt real. Like this is real life. This is this is what's happening. This is, you know, they're not acting. And yes. I wanted to find out about writing. Like you, you write something like that, it, it is as interesting as as Shameless or Modern Family, ne? And then when you go to see it as a writer, they've performed, they've directed, and you're going to view. Do you sometimes see something different? They're like, no, this is not what I wrote. This is not how the character is portraying what I wrote. Because remember, the story comes with the thought and, and the writing, right? And there was a vision to say, this is where this is supposed to go. And then what happens there when now you're looking at it, you're like, hey, hi. Well, I mean, the, the, I suppose that's why there's a, in this particular context, that's why there's a good thing where there is the writing workshop and then we're going to go to the directing. But I always say that there's, when you're a good writer, you're working on three levels. You're aware that you are the vessel that births a concept or a story, right? But the way that you put it on that piece of paper, when, the, when everybody gets it, you are supposed to inspire every discipline to actually do the best version of themselves. The, the wardrobe department must, must be so inspired to make the best wardrobe design ever. The director must be like, oh my goodness, I have to make the story come to life. The lighting person must be like, you know what? Actually, in order for this story to be perfectly portrayed, I need it to be lit in a particular way. So as a writer, what you do is that you inspire everybody else to actually be the best version of themselves. Because our art form is the most collaborative art form on earth. Because as a painter, or a painter, you want it in your basement for shop. But in our world, we need each other. We are a web, you know. So I, 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 I think that... Um, in order for something to be great, it's because the blueprint, the script itself was really good. But one of the things, going back to your point about uh, Modern Family, the reason why you feel like you are watching it fresh again and shameless. And by the way, shameless, watch the British version. The, Eng the American watched, version is good. Everyone tells me to watch the British uh, version. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I, I love my Frank. I love this Frank. I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to see another one. But anyway, that's fine. So anyway, so uh, just to finish my point quickly, uh, the reason why you feel like they are, uh, you're watching them for the first time and so real and so relatable is because what the writers did, they did something amazing, which is that they wrote from character. And that's a philosophy that I hold, that writing is about writing from character and not writing technically. It's not about saying, more page 10, it's one to do a solo, so more page 15, it's one to do a solo, so no. We work on character over and over and over, which is why when you watch these people, you are not watching a script. You are not watching a, yes, a series. Yes. You are literally watching characters do the things that characters do. And they mm -hmm. fascinate you every time and they surprise you every time. Wow. 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 Mr. B, what can people look forward to on your workshop on the day? What, like, for example, what topics are you going to sharing oh boy oh boy 
Just Yo, an example. I... Don't give everything away. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. Let, let me we want people to let come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to run through this, uh, but it's very, very quick. So we are going to cover a basic intro. What is a director? And um, my favorite is to give people the difference between a film and a television director, because I have a feeling, you know, these are two different um, people. They, they, they might do the same thing, but as you can imagine, in television, you don't have that liberty of maybe selecting your sets, your, you know, you're going for casting. Casting has already been there. You, you're getting in there with people that have been acting the past three seasons. So I think there is a, a difference. So we're going to look at that. And then we'll look at uh, types of directors. Which one are you? You know, it's strange. You can see a, a new director and go like, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a type of a director? Yes, indeed. You have new directors who might be um, moving from, you know, from, from, what can I say, from another field, so to speak. Uh, maybe Aus Mabato decides that, okay, now, now I want to, I want to direct my own story. Or me listen, you decide now I want to direct my own story. I've been acting. So we'll cover that. What is a new director and what can you do to to you know to make it worth a while and not to uh to falter here and there? There are different types of directors. There's a technical director as well, there's a performance director who spends most of, of their time with um with, with with actors more than the camera people. So we'll cover that part as well. Then human behavior, we're gonna look at that study. Um, I mean, like this is long, eh? Because this is going over two days. And uh, Mabatos as well is going over two days. So it's really, really extensive. Um, then we'll look at understanding story structure. Uh, as a director, director definitely needs to understand the story structure. We will look at uh, directing actors, which is probably the most important bit of it. The only thing that people know. They don't know <laughs> the director, direct actors. That's all. <laughs> the director, direct actors. Uh, yeah, but, but director directs a lot of things. Like, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> directing the camera. You know, yes. um, uh, a, a camera, camera movement, for example. Camera movement is inspired by something what is happening in the scene. Uh, you can't just make a camera observe all the time. Sometimes you want the, the camera to be part of the action, you know. I mean, imagine a chase sequence, someone you're chasing someone in the bush. And I, I have seen directors who would, who would rather get a steady cam, you know, to follow someone running. All ah, right. But me as, as a director, I am for give people that edge. People need to feel that shake. People need to feel that you're chasing someone, you know. So camera movement is, is, is one of those things. And then the most interesting bit is the practicals. We are going to spend a lot of time on the practicals. And um, I can't emphasize this enough because very often a time we, we, we train people, we train people, we workshop people, and then we leave them to be and hope, cross our fingers, that they will take whatever they've learned and translate it into, into um, a production. So we decided as a festival this year that look, let us, let us not do that. Let us take them through this intense um, uh, three days of workshopping. Um, by the way, they are not only going to cover uh, uh, writing and directing in this filmmaking masterclass. They will also go for a, a, a workshop in producing. Aus Mabato is also going to take them through pitching, for example, you know, because we want to sort of, and this is not everything, but we're trying to accommodate as much as possible of the art of filmmaking so that after that, they are at least able to make the better second film or the better third film, depending, you know. So yeah, in a nutshell, I would say, I would say that's what people can look forward to in my workshop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to your workshop, Aus Mavatos? 
Um, well, in my workshop, we will discuss the principles of, of screenwriting, which is obviously looking at character and why we tell stories, because I believe that that's a very fundamental and very important uh, aspect of storytelling, like why and where does story come from? And uh, then we get into characters, creating, building the world of your story. And I will touch on structure, but I'm a great believer that characters create structure in the film. And um, as mentioned, uh, the pitching of your idea as well, how to pitch that idea to the world in order for people and producers to say, okay, I want to invest in it. And um, yeah, it, it feels like a little, but it's a lot. <laughs> that, that is the most difficult part, pitching. Yeah. That's where we fail. Because you do mm. everything and then pitch. I'm hoping that maybe what, what we can do as well is get people to write something so that it's not just theoretical. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So if people, when they come, if you either have a piece of paper or you have, a, Eight. A, I don't know, a laptop, that'll be great. Because I know sometimes people don't have necessarily laptops, but um, not a piece of paper, sorry, a book. And anyway, every writer should have a notebook. So bring a book along so that you can write a couple of scenes. Yeah. I've been having yeah. a notebook and, for, for, for a long time now. <laughs> I still can't write anything. <laughs> and to add to add to what you're saying, I was uh, Mabat, um, is you know, sometimes you have people saying, Look, I've got a script, and then you 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 have a look at that script, you realize it's a, it's a script that was nicely typed in word. And it was well formatted, bold italics, uh, and all those things. And can you can you take take us through how important is it to know these writing tools? I mean, there's software yeah. in writing scripts, yeah. and, and how you present your script. Because I believe that a script is never meant to look fancy, to be colorful, to have flowers painted all over it. There's a reason why it 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 has to be that font. And it has to, to be just like that. Absolutely. See, I'm absolutely. seeing a lot of us doing this right now. Yeah, you can't. I mean, now, uh, yeah, I, I'll just have to reiterate that. You can't write your script on Word. There are script uh, programs that are free online. I'll try and find them and give people uh, yeah. a list of those. You can get free software. But to write this, to write on a laptop, and have software is literally like a painter having a paintbrush. You can't, that is your tool. That is your trade, the tool of your trade to have a laptop and to type on a screenwriting software. So to use Word is not going to help you for a couple of reasons. The formatting, the way that we lay out the script informs, it, it impacts the way things are scheduled. And then the way that you write the script, which uh, you can then, uh, production can then feed and see where actors are, I mean, where characters come through. So it gets very technical towards the value chain. So that's why it's important to understand the software. And it's just easier to read as well. I, I, you, I've received scripts in Word. I'm like, I can't read this. And it throws the formatting completely. And then there's also a very basic rule. I, I mean, it's a flexible rule, but technically it helps that one page on a script equals one, one minute on screen. So if you format it correctly, we can measure how long the script is, which affects the budget. So it gets, I don't wanna get technical, I'm, I'm more about, yeah. But you get what I mean when I say it's important to get the right for, uh, um, yes. thing, uh, software. I am just praying and hoping that a lot of people are attending these workshops because Bona Rimo, like we we've been doing it wrong for the longest time and we 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 really need help. Wow. So where can people find you? Where can people find you? I was I was um, about where can people find you, Mr. B? Where can they find you? Are you guys on social media? Where can they find if they want you to help work with you, things like that? I know you guys said during Badala, you've been in the industry for a long time. You probably don't know social media. 
you know but where can people find you i mean I'll, the easiest place for me if i if anybody wants to access me i suppose is on facebook uh not that i am that old it's just that it's the only one that i've made public <laughs> um but uh, yeah my other one my instagram account is private <laughs> i'm not very active on twitter cuz i find it to be a very violent place i i don't like the violence <laughs> Twitter. It is. So I stay away from it. I always imagine Twitter like a playground where the bullies live, and then Facebook is where all the grannies live, and they're all nice to each other, and it's good. and then Instagram is where like you are happy in your own little space. So, yeah. I will one day explain and and teach you guys about social media and the difference and how to make it work and how to make money on social media. Mm. Well, there we go. That's good. I'm, well, I'll be there for that masterclass. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that one too. Eh? <laughs> yeah, we need it. And Mr. B, where can people find oh, you? Well, yeah, I am. Uh, I am also on on Instagram. I'm very active on social media, by the way. Um, so I am on Instagram, and I'm also on Twitter. Uh, basically, Sam Hengel at Mr. B underscore filmmaker, and I'm also on on Facebook. So that's 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 where I'm at. I see you mostly on Instagram. Yes, 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 yes. I I love Instagram. Um, I think it's because of this thinking in pictures and all. Um, but yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, and the formatting of your Instagram is the pictures in on Instagram are supposed to be aligned in a different way, not like Facebook or Twitter. But anyway, the masterclass uh, is that are you starting the lesson now? Because no, it will come, it will come, it will come. We need to structure it properly, you know. Chief. We have to, we have to. <laughs> Um, no. Mr. Gia, can we acknowledge the sponsors that we have here? Yes, of course. Beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we'd like to really thank uh, all. Thank all our partners in the festival. Uh, uh, Department of Arts and Culture in the province. Uh, uh, Mabana Foundation. Uh, Kingsgate, Canon South Africa, Power FM, Video Media, Yellow, Ten Flags, and Rustenburg Local Municipality, and also not to forget Kingsgate Hotel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, well, and we have we have questions. By the way, I forgot to say, people are asking. Um, let me put up one question here. Um, uh, basically, it was this one. Mm -hmm. I guess it's also the same question as this one here. Can Mr. B answer that, that those questions? Oh, yes, absolutely. I can. I can. Uh, but I would have asked Mr. Kia to respond to these ones. Okay. He knows, okay. How, to, he knows how to pray. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. No, thanks very much. Uh, it's 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 very easy to 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 join uh, to join us to join our workshops. All what you need to do is to log on to our Rustenburg Film Festival website and uh, register. Uh, I think earlier on uh, a page was put there showing that our registration will be closing on the 15th of October. For now, uh, the registration is open. Yes, you can join us at, uh, and follow, even follow us at uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and uh, YouTube. Or you can also WhatsApp this number, 072-66-55-000. Yes. And uh, they can go to that website, rustenbergfilm.co.za, and hit uh, application. There is two 
things that one can apply for. And it is very, very important that we, we, we specify which ones. One is you, you apply to register to attend the festival. So there is, there is where now everybody coming to the workshop has to be, uh, to be accredited and approved to attend because we have to choose who is coming in person, who is going to be joining the festival online. Then there is another festival, which is about the filmmaking masterclass that we are talking about today. That's the intense three days during the festival. And then this group of people will also um, produce, uh, it's three short films and one TV movie that they will make after the festival from whatever information they have gathered during the festival from the filmmaking masterclass. That's a separate registration. It's important to, to mention that because you don't just register for the festival and you think you are going to attend the masterclass. The masterclass, is, it's, it's a different um, application process. You have to go through a different route. But if you go to the website as well and you hit uh, application, you will see two drop downs. One will say application to attend to register for the festival. The other one will say filmmaking masterclass. Yeah. So the registration to attend is closing on the 15th. That's the one that we specified. The one for the masterclass is closing on the 22nd of, um, of uh, October. Oh, by the way, we, we forgot to mention that there is a, a, an amazing price because one of our partners, Canon, is, is giving away a camera during the, the festival. Um, so we are going to be publishing that on, on, the, on the pages uh, where once everybody has signed off on it. So it's only you have to register to attend, obviously, and then you have to attend in order to do what you need to do to be the person who walks away with that camera. So, so yeah, all that information is coming. But I think, I think for now, that's what we can uh, say. Okay. In closing, <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Mr. B. Uh, and Aus Mabatu. It is honestly an honor to have met you, to Fobolela Loena. I mean, you've been in the industry for a long time. You know everything that I don't know that I'm trying to learn right now. Um, um, Mr. B, you've also been in the industry forever. I have learned so much from you and I keep learning each and every day. And I'm so blessed to have met you guys. And I know that on that day, on the workshops, I'm definitely going to sit on the front row and I'm definitely going to take everything and learn and create something magic in the future um oh no uh mr kia do you mind yes. giving us, uh did i hear something giving us the festival details like more details that people would people should know about their festival <laughs> Any last words before you say any last words, Mr. B? And <laughs> I'm not even giving them <laughs> an opportunity. Oh well, uh, look for me. For me, it's um, it's 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 just come, just come, just make sure you are properly registered for what you have to do, because this year the the festival is much bigger, and also there is a lot that's going to happen. There are so many opportunities. You're going to meet a lot of people. And the, the filmmaking masterclass for me is like the highlight, but we've got a lot. And uh, I mean, this episode is it's 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 one of the many episodes where we are going to be meeting with the other facilitators of workshops because we've got about fourteen workshops, and yeah. between the two of us here, we've covered one, two, three, only three, because Ausmavato is covering writing and pitching and I'm covering the directing part. We still have workshops on pro content creation. That's something related to what you were saying, Millie, where we'll be teaching people how to, how to professionally present themselves online, influencers, what tools they can use. Um, we've got workshops on uh, producing. We've got workshops on 
there's another script 101, by the way. Our smartwatch scripting is is a level higher than the 101 part because that one is like it's it's like it's it's um our 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 filmmaking masterclass is not for first timers, by the way. It's for people that have been in the industry that have been that are practicing. It's one of the application requirements. We've got workshops. Yo, we've got Canon is doing a workshop on um, on digital cinematography, on how to come up with the best picture using the lowest budget cameras. Because we thought we need that space. We need we need to produce quality. So yeah, yo, there's a lot. All I can say is there's a lot. So come. Uh, make sure you are registered because, like Millie said, we are well over seventy percent registrations, and we haven't opened registration for a long time. We're supposed to close it on the fifteenth of October, but really we could close it tomorrow, you know. But it's just because we have promised. But now, if you don't register on time, we will only consider the people that registered um, earlier. It's only fair that way. So yeah, wasan, wasan. Too. Yeah, also nothing much to say except come and I hope that it's fulfilling and exciting and inspiring. Any last words, Mr. Gear? And details oh, yes. uh, about the, the festival. More details. Yes. Uh, honestly, I would like to say uh, to those who have actually previously uh, attended this festival and they think uh, they know it all, they, all they know what's going to happen. They are in for a big surprise. Um, this year, uh, the festival is completely different. Uh, it has taken a different direction. That's why we've got uh, all these big part uh, partners coming on board, you know, giving away interesting prices. The festival this year, it's going to be really, 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 really uh, interesting. Um, I mean, uh, for the first time this year, we are going to be showing, uh, having screenings for almost the entire weekend at Stakey Maker. Uh, I mean, people will be spoiled for choice with the uh, uh, type of workshops that they would like to attend. I mean, uh, Previously, when we had this festival, we would have maybe one uh, uh, conference room and having to run all the uh, workshops in that conference room. This year is completely different. I mean, this year we've got uh, three conference rooms running different workshops concurrently. So people who attend the festival will be spoiled for choices to uh, where they want to go uh, where, uh, what they want to attend during the festival. So we are really, really excited and really, really looking forward to this chapter of the Rust and Black Film Festival. Yeah. Mm. No, Releboha. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Mr. B? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thanks to Aos Mabato for joining us today. Truly, truly appreciate you for your time. We've spent a good one hour, 30 minutes, like a feature length, you know, we've spent with you. <laughs> I've got a question though. Thank you, Thank you for I've inviting got a question. me. Oh, I've okay, got a yes. question before. Uh, who is going to be watching 007 anytime Friday or this weekend? Oh, Should there are no double or seven fans here. Oh, wow. no. no uh, I, I, mean, I, am. I am a fan. I'm thinking no... of going. I'll probably go next week, but not. I'm not that much. I'm, I'm a fan, but yes, yeah. the last one. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, sharp. So <laughs> yeah. Where are we supposed to go? They call it no time to die. Yeah. No time to die. No time to die. <laughs> double or seven. <laughs> uh, 007. No, I'm watching it on Friday, guys. Where? The first show at Stekineko in um, in um, at, at the Grove Mall. So they still have 007? They do. 
They have been making them for 25, 26 times, man. And they're still the same. <laughs> uh, no, they're not the same. It's the, they are hectic. Eh? This one is the last one. I get him my watch. It's the last one for Daniel yeah, Craig. Yeah, it's the last one for this guy, yeah. Yeah, for Daniel Craig, and then and then hopefully it it's gonna be diversity. You know, we are canvassing for diversity. Next Bond must must show us some diversity. The last hey. Bond I saw was with Halle Berry. <laughs> I think I'm. Um, um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the next one that will come it will finish up officially. You remember when Halle Berry was coming out of the water? Of the sea. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, was yeah. A, that was in the nineties. <laughs> that is the last one I watched. That's a long time ago. Well, it's been a you while. Must... Eh? <laughs> I Thank have to ask much, this again. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Picture. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Picture. picture. Let's take a picture. One, two, three, and action. There we go. Thank you. I've taken the picture. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 And I'm proud. I think Dabai to make a sense in Moga Tumba Basokola. Lebaba Fustana, veil your life. Dabing me in Warisanga Diamond Kibore. Anna Screeniana. Or at least they are checking or hati. Tabaya corona. Itabo hatabo hakai. Two days ago. Kanagare. Ki two days ago. I'm born in a bad blind. Taman on a rappel. Udisemudimu. Why a safar? Mar, kona le batu, aba pelang kahu bola batu, kahu tuisa batu botu. Mar still bari chida imens. Mar enama fukwa me abu hello. Kyo le promise a fela ore. Kita le protect. Even though Ronald in Punch are such a serious all over the world. I'm at the spot. Do it. Yes, I'll do it. Why 
ni pumeleke la ginga zambiza mapo yisangi biza na basal bag basal man yes get out of this place hamba uyeskole ninga zamfone la basal bag unani nka anunja alunj pumango mnyango how bayatupa la bantu adamos